everyone this is Jay Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation so let's get going problem solve 1 plus x whole square into d square y by dx square plus 1 plus x into dy by dx plus y equal to 4 cos log of 1 plus x so the given differential equation is of ax plus b power n d power n y dx power n plus p1 ax plus b for n minus 1 into d power n minus 1 y by dx for n minus 1 plus so on plus p n equal to some function of x for n equal to 2 okay the given equation is of this form for n equal to 2 so we'll call the given differential equation as legendor's equation of order 2 okay now we'll solve this equation by reducing it to a linear differential equation with constant equations by making some substitution so we have to reduce this equation to a linear differential equation with constant equations by making some substitution and later we'll find the general solution of the given differential equation let's see that given differential equation 1 plus x whole square into d square y by dx square plus 1 plus x into dy by dx plus y equal to 4 cos log of 1 plus x consider as equation number 1 right now let's write it in differential operator d form in terms of d otherwise you can write d square y by dx square as capital D square where d is a differential operator plus 1 plus x into write dy by dx as dy plus y equal to 4 cos log of 1 plus x right now take y common from all the three terms here we need to write d square y okay d square y by dx square can be written as d square y okay now let's take y common from all the three terms of LHS and we'll get 1 plus x whole square d square plus 1 plus x into d plus 1 into y equal to 4 cos log of 1 plus x. Consider it as equation 2 which is the legendary equation right in operator form d. Fine now we will reduce this to a linear differential equation with constant equations by making some substitution. We know that Legendre's equation procedure says that a plus x, sorry, ax plus b can be replaced by e power z then log, then z equal to log of ax plus b and theta is a differential operator whose independent variable is z and ax plus b into d can be replaced by here the quotient of x is a into here you are having power 1 right so you will have only one term of theta say so theta and ax plus b whole square into d square can be replaced by here you are having squares right so you will have two terms of theta into quotient of x a square okay if you have cube then you will have a cube into here you having cube right so you will have three terms of theta theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 but in our case you having only 1 plus x whole square into d square right let us see our case let 1 plus x equal to e power z then z equal to log of 1 plus x and here also theta is d plus I mean Theta is a differential operator whose independent variable is z and here we can replace 1 plus x into d by here you are having power 1 so you will have only one term of theta and coefficient of x is 1 so you will get 1 into theta which is theta and 1 plus x whole square into d square can be replaced by here you are having square right so you will have two terms of theta into quotient of x square quotient of x is 1 1 square into theta of theta minus 1 which gives us theta of theta minus 1 or theta into theta minus 1 fine now 
let's substitute all this in equation 2 then equation 2 becomes one plus x whole square into d square can be replaced by theta of theta minus one plus one plus x into d can be replaced by theta plus one into y equal to four cos log of one plus x can be replaced by z so you'll get four cos z let's simplify this this becomes theta into theta theta square minus theta into one theta plus theta plus 1 into y equal to 4 cos z. Here minus theta plus theta gets cancelled and you'll get theta square plus 1 into y equal to 4 cos z, which is an operator form, say f of theta into y equal to some function of z. I'll call the RHS part as r, where f of theta is theta square plus 1. And r equal to 4 cos z. So we have reduced the given differential equation to a linear differential equation of, I mean, with constant coefficients, right? So now we'll find the general solution to this equation. Consider this equation as equation number 3. We'll find the general solution to this equation using y equal to yc plus yp. And later using the solution, I mean the general solution of equation 3, we'll find the general solution of the given differential equation and the general solution to this equation will be resulting in terms of z and while coming to first equation I mean the given differential equation the general solution to this equation will be resulting in terms of x and here yc is a complementary function yp is a particular integral right yc is given by auxiliary equation we'll find yp using 1 by 4 theta into R. Okay, now coming to auxiliary equation, let's find yc and later we'll go for yp. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equal to, we have f of theta, theta square plus 1, right? Let's replace theta by m so that we'll get f of m equal to m square plus 1. Then the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 1 equal to 0. We need to find roots to this equation. Right? Since we know that square root of minus 1 is i, so we'll get m equal to plus or minus i. Therefore, m equal to plus or minus i, complex conjugate. The roots are complex conjugate. When the roots are complex conjugate, yc will be e power a z into c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz right in case of a0 we'll get e power 0z which gives us e power 0 into c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz right since e power 0 equal to 1 so this gives us 1 into c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz right so from this we'll get y c equal to c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz for m equal to plus or minus ib. Just by comparing these two we can find our complementary function. y c equal to just compare plus or minus ib with plus or minus i. So for b equal to 1 we'll have y c equal to c1 cos 1 into z plus c2 sin 1 into z. From this we will get yc equal to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z, right? Therefore, yc equal to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z. We got yc. Let's now find yp. 
yp is given by 1 by f of theta into r. We have f of theta, theta square plus 1 and r is 4 cos z. We can write this as 1, 4 into 1 by theta square plus 1 into cos z. Right? Here 1 by theta square plus 1 into cos z is of 1 by f of theta into cos bz type. Right? So here we need to find theta square which is given by minus b square. It is not minus b whole square. It is minus b square. Okay? Equal to just by comparing these two we have b equal to 1. Right? We will get b equal to 1. So, we need to find minus b square here, minus 1 square which gives minus 1. So, we have theta square equal to minus 1. If we substitute theta square equal to minus 1 in the denominator, if we substitute theta square equal to minus 1, you will get minus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 0. So, you will get 1 by 0 again, not again. It's 1 by 0 into cos z, right? When you replace theta square by minus 1, you'll get 1 by 0 into cos z. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so the total term becomes undefined. So, will not replace theta square by minus 1 here. What we'll do is 4 into, we'll write 1z into 1 by, find the derivative of theta square plus 1. Derivative of theta square plus 1 is? 2 theta into cos z. 2 1 z 2 2 z. This gives us 2 z 1 by theta into cos z. Now we need to find 1 by theta into cos z. Here 1 by theta is nothing but integral operator. So we need to find integral of cos z. Integral cos z is sin z. So, we will get 2z sin z. Therefore, yp equal to 2z sin z. Therefore, yp equal to 2z sin z. So, we got yp and yc. Let us now find general solution to equation 3 using y equal to yc plus yp. Therefore, the general solution to equation 3 is given by y equal to yc plus yp. This is equal to yc. yc is c1 cos z plus c2 sin z plus yp. 2z sin z. Therefore, y equal to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z plus 2z sin z is the general solution to the reduced equation equation 3 which is in terms of z right now using this solution we will find the general solution to the given differential equation which results in terms of x we have y equal to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z plus 2z sin z since z equal to log of 1 plus x then this equation becomes y equal to c1 cos z log of 1 plus x plus c2 sin just replace z by log of 1 plus x plus 2z sin z which is the required solution therefore y equal to c1 cos z sorry cos log of 1 plus x plus c2 sin log of 1 plus x plus 2 log of 1 plus x sin log of 1 plus x is the required solution which is in terms of x.
well we have seen a problem from legendary equation in this video i hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye